I am joined by Tom Aquilina, who plays for Western Sydney Wanderers in the A League. Thanks for joining me, Tom. No worries at all. How did you first get into football? Uh, I think it was just a, a thing that went around school. Friends were playing it. Uh, we had it during school, so it was just something I picked up and I started to enjoy. So I played it on the weekends and, yeah, the rest is history. You joined the Western Sydney Wanderers Academy in their first year. What was the step up from, you know, amateur football to a more professional setting like? Um, I think it's just they get you ready for the professional environment. So you've got to be got to be ready every training session, every game to go 100 percent. So you can, I guess, go up the ranks a little bit quicker than other people, boys that I guess don't have the opportunity like we have at the academy. You're only a young teenager when you joined Wanderers. Did you find that joining a professional sort of setting affected your social life and school life a little bit, or did you find the transition pretty easy? Uh, I think it would, it, you could say it affected school life because we trained at 7.30 in the morning, so we were always late to school, or sometimes you just didn't go to school because sometimes there's no point because you, you're not finishing till 11.30, 12. By the time you shower, you're not getting out of there by 12.31. Um, so I think school was definitely affected, but I had a great, great connection with my school at Bosley Park that kind of underst- understood where I was coming from and they helped me with little extra things to kind of keep me on top of schoolwork and stuff like that. So in 2019, you had a loan move with Sutherland Sharks. What was that experience like? Um, it was a little bit different. It was not, um, I guess, as full on as a professional environment um, that I'm used to, but I think it was a good learning experience for me personally, kind of off the pitch that kind of, even though you're not at the, the top where you want to be, that you can still work hard enough to get to where you want to be. And um, I did that and then, yeah. In round one of last season, you made your professional debut with the Wanderers. What was that moment like? Uh, yeah, something that I've worked for uh, for a long, 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 long time. Um, so when the gaffer came, said that I'm going to be on the bench, uh, I was just happy with that. Um, I was just happy training with them. So knowing that I was going to maybe even get the opportunity to play. But then when I did, obviously, it's something you work for. So it was a very, very happy moment for me. Were you expecting that you were going to play any sort of role in that match or was it a bit of a shock? And how do you think you went in the match overall? Um, I guess it's stereotypical that most scholarship players or whatnot don't get as much of a run. But as soon as the gaffer came in, you could already see that he invests a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of patience into into the young footballers at every club he's been at. So I knew that eventually I think I would get my shot Did I expect it round one? No, but um, I'll definitely take that. But yeah, it was a good moment. How do you mentally prepare yourself for those big matches? Do you have any sort of pre-match rituals or superstitions? Um, No, not really. I just don't really, I don't like to think ahead too much and put added pressure onto myself. I think I'd rather go into the game kind of, calm relaxed and not really think too much into it before kickoff because I feel like if you overthink you're going to be flooded with emotions when you when the time comes and maybe that affects your gameplay maybe not um but no I just don't like to think too much ahead of it or think too much into things so yeah so you just mentioned added pressure um we know Wanderers have a very big fan base who are pretty passionate about their side Do you check up on the social media to see what the sort of fans are saying about you and the team after a match, or is that something that you just like to avoid? Um, I think there's times that you do, there's times that you don't. Um, I think you just got to play it by the situation that you're in at the moment, but I'm not the type to go reading through comments and stuff like that. Um, I guess I know where I stand with the club and where this club stands with me, and I'm always going to put 100% in for the club that, I grew up playing for so no matter what I'm always going to give 100% to the club and looking back on your first season of professional football for next season is there anything that you think that you could have done better this season or could have improved on um I know I had a fair a fair few opportunities in front of goal that I I should have or maybe I could have done a little bit better to capitalize on but I think 
I can take a lot from season one into season two and progress even more uh, in my game that also I want to start every game and be available for the team every 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 weekend. Um, but I think I just want to be more aggressive going forward and I think I'm going to do that this year and get a lot of success off it. So safe to say 2021 has been a pretty good year for you so far, but what are your plans for the rest of the 2021 like calendar year and, and football year? Uh, it's hard work. Um, pre-season started today, so we're getting back into the role of things. Um, and it's it's to improve on 2021, I guess, uh, 2021 season to where I can be even better in the 21-22 season um, and just exploit a lot of things and and show showcase my skills. And finally, a bit of a fun one. On your Wikipedia page under your early life section, just has one paragraph and it just says Thomas Aquilino is of Maltese descent. Is there anything <laughs> else, any interesting facts about your childhood or early life that you want to throw in there aside from just being Maltese? Um, no, I actually haven't read on that. Um, no, not really, to be honest. I guess I'm quite a boring person that I don't really have many stories to, to share. Well, thank you so much for joining me tonight, Tom. It's been an absolute pleasure. No worries at all, mate.